Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel and I am coming back with another uh, review from the inquirer about a, a very known person, very household name person. Barbara Walters, yeah, she's in the Enquirer News uh, Vlog Magazine. Don't know why we're not hearing about it on the mainstream media, which is, you know, television as well as on The View because she was co-host anchored for The View. No, she's on ABC. She's a very nice and very factual journalist, but they saying she got Alzheimer's or dementia. Let's get on right on into this story. They said inside Barbara Walters' prison of pain. Yes, they got a big picture of her. And uh, I showed you what the choir uh, magazine I'm looking at, which is the one that got Megan Markle's where she walks out. All these articles that I posted from the Inquirer are uh, from this particular magazine. If you want to go get it and check it out, if they still have it available. But yeah, they're talking about Barbara Walters, honey. Uh, the pictures that I'm giving you that you saw earlier on uh, were pictures in 2011. And this is when she was so exhausted and anxious and uh, she felt she had people spying on her. So, yes, she was a little bit paranoid, as we can kind of take from that report. Okay, um, they say Barbara is reportedly wheelchair-bound in her apartment. I'm like, oh, my goodness, okay. She's 89 years old. If she makes it to September 25th of this year, she'll be 90. I always cater her to probably reach 100 or 101, you know. That's how I saw it, but, you know, I'm not God. I don't call her home when they need to be called home. But let's get on in this story. I don't want to tear it too long. It says, failing recluse Barbara Walters have been, has been spending her final days in a tragic prison of pain. Sources say it. The former star of The View hasn't been seen in public for three years. So she stopped showing herself in two, well, that, no, that has been more than three years. Uh, from what they're saying about oh, the picture that I gave you was 2011, so my goodness, okay, it's 19, 18, 17, so 16. She ain't been seen since 2016. She's been stuck up in the hall. Um, I'm thinking she's in New York, Manhattan apartment, maybe. See, you don't understand about these people that have vivacious and vital careers and they were out there moving and shaking and making big deals and being a part of everything and then when they start to lose their charm their flair their looks they go into seclusion like you know the whole world is done drop you know around from around them and they feel naked so they go into seclusion i never understood it i mean go on and face your your, your people you know, everybody gonna get old. Everybody's gonna lose some parts of their memory, but you know, don't shut yourself off from the world. You just want us to remember you the way you were. I mean, age gracefully, grow into it. But anyway, uh, it shows you what fame can do to you. Fame and fortune just still ain't happen when you should be at the peak age of it, enjoying it. Okay, but anyway, that's my sidebar. But it says the now eighty nine. And suffering from advanced dementia, according to sources, the brains behind the talk show is said to rarely leave her bed and doesn't even recognize her famous friends. Barbara suffers from exhaustion and fatigue, as well as anxiety and agitation. Well, hell, that's just about all of us, and we are definitely not her golden age of 89, okay? Well, I ain't going to say everybody, but yes, I suffer from anxiety. Sometimes I am exhausted and fatigued, and I know it got to do with me being obese, and I'm agitated. Damn, okay, that's a cause for having dementia? Well, I know a lot about dementia, so don't think I don't know what I'm making stupid cons com uh, excuse me, comments. Because my mother has slightly uh, been diagnosed with uh, onset dementia. And I had a uncle that I took care of. Well, I could say the family took care of. Uh, who suffered from Alzheimer's. The end stages of Alzheimer's. So, I do know about dementia and Alzheimer's. They go together, okay? It's just your brain shutting down. It's not making any more serotonin. And the brain cells are not firing like they're supposed to. 
and you're pretty much like a vegetable in a sense. And yes, people have to care for you because you don't know if you're coming or going. Very sad disease. A lot of people should. I don't think it's always been around, but they just put a diagnosis, a name to it. We used to call it the old folks disease uh, when I was a young girl. And my parents said, you know, she's just, you know, aging. She's not at her best anymore. And, you know, she just, you know, she's old. Okay. But that's how they explain it to us. But today, society got a staple label as dementia slash Alzheimer's. Okay. But moving from there. Uh, going back to the article, they say she's very frail and spends a great deal of the day napping. If she's taking medicines such as Seroquel or Aricep or something like that, yeah, she pretty much, and they got them in high dosages. So if she's in pain or she's really agitated, yeah, they, it's best to sedate her. Okay, uh, going back to the article, it says visitors are turned away from her New York deeds where sources say she is deteriorating so rapidly that ABC News is preparing her obituary and former colleagues whisper that her end is very near. Now, ain't that like some snakes in the grass? They already put the woman in the grave. In the grave. Okay, preparing her obituary. I mean, she, she, you know, she's well known, but come on now. We don't have to have all that being said. All right, but moving on, this is how they get down and put it into plain view for everybody, okay? Um, they said, uh, while Protective Pals and the Star's rep still insist she's fine, they're in denial, okay? A source close to vaulted newswoman said, Barbara is fading a little more every day. She's close to the end, and her team is scrambling to manage affairs just the way Barbara uh, would want them. Sadly, her dementia has been getting worse. Her caretakers give her the opportunity to make everyday decisions, but more often than not, she'll stare at them blankly. The source added, the views ladies still reach out on good days. Barbara can distinguish joy of bear voice, but on bad days, she might just hang up. The source noted that caretaker take, uh, take caretakers get the impression her mind's Turns off like a blank screen on a television. As the Inquirer re reported recently, Barbara, in her more lucid moments, was still phoning into the view to give the girls a piece of her mind as she plotted her return to TV's insider's claim. But all that has changed with a rep for Barbara insisting she's not going public or doing any interviews, even though her former producer and close friend Bill Getty had hoped to get her as one of the first guests on his new Tamara Hall show. As previously reported, friends said the former TV titan has become a prisoner in her swanky pad overlooking Central Park, where she is wheelchair-bound and said to be suffering from hearing loss and heart disease. They said her dementia is so advanced that she couldn't recognize Whoopi Goldberg, whose recent visit sent the one-time media powerhouse into a screaming fit, a spy claim. Meanwhile, a tipster tattled that ABC is preparing a final tribute. They want to be ready for the day that Barbara finally signs off for good. Now, ain't that something they already done said? Okay, this woman's going to die. We don't get her a time frame. And we need to get all the special... Oh, TV broadcast, and we need to break the news. They're trying to do breaking news and have their ratings go up on this poor Barbara Walters. But again, she was a part of the elite. She was a part of the secret society. She was a part of a lot of undercover secret type stuff, okay? So this is the way they get down, people. Do your own research. I'm speaking facts. And uh, it just is what it is, okay? When you're a part of a, a group of people and you have to do some strange things for some change, okay, you get to be very well seen. She wanted to be popularized. She wanted the whole essence of the world to look on her. She got the best assignments. Now, I ain't going to say she didn't work her butt off, but she got some very lucrative assignments where she got to interview some very prestigious people. And you don't get that type of a uh, homage paid to you unless you are doing a lot of things, okay? But that's all I had on this story, y'all. It's very sad, but that's pretty much how our lifespans are. We live, we uh, interact with us, uh, we interact with each other, 
on whatever type totem pole you may be out there in your life and then we die you know that's the circle of life uh get into it we're not here to stay here uh forever and i think if we did we would get bored and we would be trying to see where we could leave because all our friends will be gone and we'll be sitting up here like we on an island by ourselves so i guess ignorance is bliss at some points in our life but y'all enjoy the video get down in the comments tell me what y'all think um uh, and definitely let's talk about it okay uh if we can all right but that's all i had i'll see y'all next time for another video okay enjoy enjoy bye-bye